Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and Happy New Year. I hope everyone has a blessed 2019 and this video here, uh, I was putting up some on my jewelry that I got for Christmas and um, I thought well what I should do is show you all how I store my fake jewelry, costume jewelry that is, um, you know, you can get anywhere in a department store that's um, very uh, cute but not real. Take for instance this watch here I've had for over a year and uh, it is fake rhinestones and fake gold tone and uh, then it has a navy band and you turn it over uh, it's by Jessica Carlisle but it is fake I do need to clean the back of it a little bit right here but um, I was wanting to show you how to keep fake jewelry from turning okay now I have this watch here and let me show you what I'm going to do with it in a little bit. Uh, these I've already got stored. These earrings here I've had for several years. And they're, they're not real either. They're not um, sterling or anything. They're just fake uh, costume jewelry. And then I've had this necklace also. Um, well, I got this one back in the summer or spring. Spring or summer. And um, I wear it some. Uh, it is also fake. I think I gave, I don't know, maybe um, $7 for this. I'm not sure. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all how I store all my jewelry. Uh, and keep them from turning, tarnishing. First of all, after I get through, <coughs> excuse me, after I get through wearing the item, I have a washcloth, well not a washcloth, it's one of these uh, microfiber uh, type cloths. They're real um, soft, you can get them anywhere. And I rub them down, and that is to get any moisture or makeup off that may have got on there and then I put them in a little ziplock bag like this and I put a piece of chalk in there and chalk is a porous material and it takes up moisture so if you make sure you got all the air out of the bag ziplock bag Put the chalk in there with it and zip it up. And then what I do is I put it then in a little container. For example, this one right here uh, I got several years ago. These little tins are so uh, cute. And I got my Christmas jewelry in this one. And I should already opened it because I don't know if I can get it open or not with one hand. But anyway, I got it in there. And this one right here, I got this for Christmas. And uh, my husband gave me some money and told me to go buy myself something. So that's what I did. And I found this necklace. And it says, Mother, Daughter, Friends Forever. It's got a little heart and a little rhinestone. And I just loved it. I thought, I'm going to wear that. So I feel like my mother is with me all the time. Since she's passed away, I, I want to feel her just, you know, giving me a big hug. And and knowing I love in some way, make her know I love her too. Still, still think about her all the time. And uh, I just loved it. 
and it was $12.99. And it's not real though. It's it's got this little love knot, I believe they call it there. And I just absolutely loved it. So when I was opening it up to take it uh, with a look at it in the back, see how long it was and all the chain, I noticed it had this with it. And I had not noticed um these necklaces or jewelry uh, that you buy that is not real, you know, it's just fake costume jewelry, having these before. Now, I have got these in shoes and boxes with my sh new shoes and things like that. But these also, don't throw these away, these little packets here. Uh, what they're for, it says throw away, do not eat, but... Uh, that's probably if you have children or animals that you're afraid might get in to these, then, well, yeah, I guess you would throw them away. But if you have a place to keep your jewelry out of reach of a child or animal, be sure and keep these because these little packets here are also good to put in with your fake jewelry because they take up moisture and keep it away from the jewelry. So, this one right here, um, I also, to make sure, I'm, I'm putting a little piece of chalk that I broke off in there with it. And my mother actually taught me this. And all her costume jewelry she had from when she was a teenager on up to she was older, um, did not turn. I don't know where she learned it at. I don't know if... Uh, she read it somewhere, or probably did, because she wasn't much of a TV watcher. Uh, she hardly ever watched TV, so she probably read it somewhere. But then later on, I looked up this, uh, what she always done, and sure enough, chalk is a great way to keep jewelry from turning, because it takes up excess moisture. And... Like I say, I always wipe them off before and after if you have time. Uh, sometimes myself, I forget to do it. But then when I do think of it, I'll go wipe all my jewelry down and then put this chalk in here. Or one of these little things. And then this one came in a box from New Direction. New Directions. And I'm going to store this. Uh, you know, in a drawer, and uh, this one right here I've had several years too. It's a gold tone, and it was more of a darker gold tone when I got it. I've had it several years. When uh, um, I went out shopping, and I found this, I just absolutely loved it. So, as you can see, it has not turned any. And that's what I do. And I thought I'd pass on this information to all my good friends out there and my subscribers. So that's the way I keep fake costume jewelry from turning or tarnishing. Whichever way you want to say it. And I hope everybody has a wonderful 2019. Thank y'all so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel so I can keep making these videos. Uh, it means so much to me. It really does. Thank y'all so much. Bye-bye.